Hey everyone, and welcome back to News to the Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And welcome back to another amazing Marvel Spider-Man 2 video. It's been about five days since I've made one of these, and man, do I miss making them. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five gadgets that are a must-have in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Keep in mind that some of these gadgets would be sort of fabricated by me, and since symbiotes are going to be introduced in the sequel, you'll probably will have an idea of what I'm going to come up with. Before I get started, I want you all to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you all don't miss videos like this. I post videos just about every day, and I live stream on Tuesdays and Sundays from 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Join my Discord. The invitation link to that is in the description box below, along with the links to my Instagram and Twitter. It really helps the channel if you subscribe especially. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by December. If you can do that, I would really appreciate it. With all that being said, let's start the countdown from number 5. Fire webbing. Ah yes, the good old fire webbing. The last time I can recall seeing any fire webbing was back in the PS1 era of Spider-Man. This web cartridge was found in the printing department of the Daily Bugle. Having access to these fire web cartridges allowed you to defeat the symbiote enemies with ease since the main weaknesses are fire and sonic. With Peter Parker's innovative creative mind, I'm sure he'll be able to develop something that utilizes fire to combat the symbiotes, and if the rumors about Peter Parker developing the extra arms to help combat Venom are true, then there's no reason why Peter should stop there. I'm sure Peter will learn that the symbiotes don't like fire during his experience with the black suit. A good scenario would be Spider-Man trying to go into a burning building to save someone but the black suit just won't let him go in by pulling away. And later on, once he's gotten rid of the black suit, he remembers that one of the weaknesses of the symbiote is fire. Then he develops maybe a web cartridge or something that utilizes fire to combat Venom. Number 4. Sonic Blast I know we have the concussive blast from the first Marvel Spider-Man game, but if we're going to combat symbiotes, we're going to need something more powerful than the concussive blast we got in the first game. The concussive blast when in use was very brief, powerful, but non-lethal. I'm talking about having something like a continuous sonic blast to keep the symbiotes at bay so you have a chance to strike at Venom, let's say. Perhaps the sonic blast would be best utilized with the arms that we saw in the trailer that Peter supposedly developed to help combat Venom. Either way, I'd like to see some sort of sonic blast make its way into the sequel. Number 3. Enhanced Trip Mine Let me elaborate on this one. Instead of the trip mine we got in the first Marvel Spider-Man game, why not enhance that same trip mine by allowing it to target multiple people within a 10 meter radius? That would be so cool and useful for clearing out a cluster of goons that sometimes you just don't feel like fighting. Yes, I felt that way before. We only get about 4 trip mines to use at a time in the first game, but I think to get the most use out of those neat trip mines is to enhance that device by allowing it to do more, and that's taking out multiple enemies at a time. Number 2. Spider Tracer This gadget is a classic. We've seen this gadget in various forms of Spider-Man media, from the comics, cartoons, and even video games, of course. An old Spider Tracer could be found in one of the backpacks in the first Spider-Man game. Wouldn't it be cool to bring it back, but modified and upgraded? This gave me the idea of having Spider Tracer missions being introduced in the sequel. Venom is a character who's really fast and went on the move. Also, he's invisible to Spider-Man's spider sense. So being able to track Venom or let's say any other enemy opens the door to more and hopefully improved stealth missions. This gadget is just way too classic to not be included in the game. And finally, at number one, Web Dome. Be it you use it as a shield or a way to blast enemies all around you, this needs to come back. You can argue what's the point in bringing the web dome back when we have the concussive blast. Well, the concussive blast isn't a web attack. In fact, it's just the same concept as the web dome, only without the webs, and you can only shoot the concussive blast in one direction, versus the web dome can target everyone all around you, kind of like how the web bombs do in the first Marvel Spider-Man game. The web dome has been featured in many Spider-Man games. I don't see why it shouldn't make its return in the sequel. If Insomnia Games manages to bring back the web dome, I'm curious how they would give it their own spin. To me, the web dome is a classic, and I'm sure it'll look amazing. If anything, if the web dome manages to come back, I'm sure it'll look similar to Miles Morales' Venom Blast Attack. If you've noticed one thing about Miles Morales' Venom Blast Attack, is that it looks like a massive spider's web, only it's electricity instead. And those are my top 5 must-have gadget picks for Marvel Spider-Man 2. Can you think of any gadgets that Marvel Spider-Man 2 will need? Didn't see a gadget you'd like to see in the sequel? 
Comment down below with your thoughts of my top five picks and your own top five picks. One more thing before I let you all go is that we're already close to 8,000 subscribers. So guys, once again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by this December. At any point in December is actually just fine, but I just really want to reach that goal. Help me out, guys. It really definitely helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you all don't miss videos like this. And I will see you all in the next comic panel. It's disappointment. Will one of you finally give me what I desire? Thank you.